Oh, hello. I see you guys are all looking at me, me, Race Jackson, and I, I can't blame you. People like to look at me, and it's always been that way. It's always been that way. Ever since I was a little, a small, small child. I grew up in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Grew up in a small town called Reston, Virginia. It was named after a, uh, a man named Robert E. Simon. Some consider him a philanthropist. I believe if you have money, you shouldn't spend it on others, but that's neither here nor there. Around the time I was two, three, maybe four years old, I ventured up to the Fox Mill Blockbuster. We got tired of going to the Hollywood video that was close to my house. It smelled. It's always strange looking people inside of it. So we went to the Blockbuster. I was a gigantic fan of Batman. As you can see, I am the walking image of Bruce Wayne some days. And I stumbled across a video cassette. This video cassette had a clown on it in a small box. And I, at the time, far more foolish than I am now, thought that that was the Joker. So I picked up the cassette behind the box. You remember at Blockbuster, they had a plastic thing with a cover, and then they had a white and blue box, and it had a black inside, and you would open it up, kind of like a shell casing. So I took it home, and I watched it, and I fast forward until I found that clown. It turned out that clown was not the Joker. That clown was also surrounded by little people. I, I, you know, there's a little person that works for Chikara. Some refer to him as the big deal. I don't, I don't see the big deal. Anyway, so I watched this, and there was, there was little people fighting women and fat guys. But I remember I, I was very enthralled with it. I, I quite enjoyed it. I saw a lot of people that I figured I would grow up to look like, and I, I watched one match with a ladder. It absolutely captivated me, but I was far more entertained by the little people fighting the woman. Fast forward a few years, I uh, started watching Monday Night Raw when my mother would let me. In between getting straight O's in school that stands for outstanding, I would watch a gentleman by the name of Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, and I saw him captivating people, speaking to the people, the millions and millions of people. And I was very interested. There's a guy like that that, uh, that holds a, a grand championship here at Chikara. That guy is, he's Ultramantis Black, and he can captivate the people. Not quite like Race Jackson, this body, this face can, but he does a decent, if not mundane, job at it. So I really enjoyed The Rock. For some reason, I was, I, although I got straight O's in school, sometimes I was quite foolish, and I really enjoyed uh, those white trash Hardy Boys. I don't know. It was a different time, early 2000s. UFO pants were in. Ugh. Fast forward a few more years. I went to Oakton High School. I was on the varsity football team my freshman year. There were three teams. There's a freshman, there's JV, and there was varsity. Freshmen were a bunch of goofs. There was no cuts. JV was kind of like the island of misfit toys. There was some athletes, but mostly scrubs, and then varsity, where I was, we were state champions two years in a row when I started outside linebacker. When I wasn't playing football in the spring, I played lacrosse, and I was also fantastic at that. I was a face-off midi, and typically my trick was to drive my shoulder as I pulled the ball to my team, but it, the team didn't really matter because Race Jackson was the one that scored the points. Race Jackson was the one that got assists. I was about 16 years old, and I got a message on MySpace. I don't know why anybody would use MySpace as a social media platform, but they did. I did not have a very interesting layout, just interesting pictures of myself, because what picture of me is not interesting? That's the question. I got a message from a guy who was opening up a wrestling school in Manassas, Virginia. That man's name was Sweet Dr. Jim Zavesky. I kind of question what kind of doctor he was, and I went to his wrestling school. I wore a sideways cap because I thought it would impress him and a very tight t-shirt to show off my awesome football and lacrosse conditioned body. He said, come on Monday, sign up, $500 for the beginner course, $2,500 to do the full course. I said, let's call it 2000 and I promise I will be the biggest star you ever seen. He said, Race Jackson, you're young, you're handsome, you got a deal, my friend. I said, no problem. Come Monday, 
I was surrounded by what looked like overweight Civil War reenactors that populate most wrestling schools. And at 16, I was by far the most athletically gifted, the best looking, the best at interviews and talking. I had it all. I was frankly, I was more than Dwayne Johnson to Kaida Pro Wrestling. But in the state of Virginia, you have to have a license, you have to be over 18 to wrestle. So I had to go work in the disgusting Appalachian Mountains of Pennsylvania and West Virginia. I brought my beautiful mother to shows in Blue Ridge Summit, Pennsylvania, where she was surrounded by inbred trash as she watched her son twist, knock out, and pin lots of unworthy challengers. A lot's changed in those years. Race Jackson has found himself. Race Jackson has gotten a lot better, and I was good then. I've worn a mask, I've worn suspenders, I've worn tights to show off my fantastic quad muscles. And here in Chikara, I've won the Campeonatos de Parejas within a year of my debut match with Chikara. That's pretty impressive. Most would say, GQ said, Rolling Stone said, the internet said, Twitter said, my mother said. But here I am, Race Jackson, a new year, a new me. But don't worry, still the same young and handsome Ray's Jackson, still that adorable child that picked up that video cassette from Blockbuster, still that fantastic athletic standout at Kaida Pro Wrestling. And Ultramantis Black, you may hold the grand championship right now, but Ray's Jackson here in Chikara, throughout the world, I'm not a stranger to being a winner. I'm not a stranger to being a champion. And I'm going to take that grand championship from you. Because this company needs a face that doesn't have to hide behind a mask. This company needs a face like mine, a face like Race Jackson's.